Well, hello there, hello there, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. What's up, Helix Dudes? Today, we're talking about the feel. Do this to uh, improve the heel, the feel of the Helix, or the heel of the Felix. Uh, I had an email come from a guy, and he said to me, he said, HW, I downloaded, um, I think it was a 68 Mars pack that he downloaded. And he said, it, 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 it absolutely fixed the feel of the Helix. What else do you have? And, um, you know, uh, I've got to answer that guy back. I've got to answer that email back. But it got me thinking, you know, the, the, the IRs actually aren't doing anything for the feel of the Helix. Um, I don't think IRs can really help the feel. Now, you might like the sound of the IR better. It might be inspiring to play. But it doesn't change the feel of the Helix to me, what really has helped um, kind of augment the feel of the Helix um, is a, a certain compressor that I'm using, and I think it's more important where I'm using it rather than what I'm using. Um, because I, I really think that one of the beauties of digital is having compression in sort of hard to reach places. No, I don't mean like when you're scrubbing your back in the shower. I mean, um, after the cabinet section or maybe between the amp and the cabinet section, you know, before an IR or after an IR in the case uh, of how I'm using it. And so I want to show you that. And if you've downloaded any Tone Junkie uh, preset for uh, 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 Helix HX Stomp and very soon Pod Go, um, you will have probably seen this compressor in there. And uh, so let's check it out. Here it is. It's right here. Um, it's the LA Studio Comp. Now, I use another compressor up here. I use the Deluxe Compressor. Now, let's defeat both of these compressors and let's hear what my sound sounds like. And then I want to talk about them and how they improve the feel of the Helix. For me, your mods may vary. Maybe you have no complaints, but maybe you want to check out these compressors and I'll show you my settings. So check it out. Here is the sound with no compression. So to me, it's it's very um, it, it's it's kind of how a guitar feels, right? Um, there's not a lot of like juiciness, not a ton of give, and that's okay. That's normal. So I like to use this first compressor. Um, I use the Deluxe Comp, and um, here are my settings right here. I mean, you can see them on the screen. Um, I like the attack uh, and release kind of in this fashion. I, basically, I'm trying to set this not to be super crazy, right? But you can kind of, I can feel it a lot, you can hear it. It just adds a little bit of sustain and a little bit of like, a little bit of juiciness, a little bit of compression. It feels a little squishier. It just, it feels lovely, it feels nice, and it kind of feels like the amp is somehow turned up louder. And that makes a lot of sense because the, the sort of hotter and louder you get an amp, the more compression you're gonna get at multiple gain stages. So the fact that a, a light compressor in front can feel a little more like a hot amp is a very desirable feeling. But I think the real trick for me is after the amp, after the EQ, after the IR, this is how I set it up. I have another little EQ here that I use just to take out harsh frequencies. Sometimes some of the models in the Helix um, suffer from a problem that real amps suffer from. 
which is when you increase the gain, a lot of frequencies in the amp start to boost up. Like on the basement, you increase the gain, you get tons and tons and tons of more bass. Um, I, we're using a, uh, this is a Mars Astra, you know, sort of uh, simulation patch or a tone match patch, but I'm using the uh, Brit J45 because I want access to the tone of those KT66s, right? But um, as I do that, I increase bass. So I use this just to sort of take some bass and some highs out, but ignore that. It's not really doing anything right now. It's taking half a decibel above 8K away. It's, it, it's basically doing nothing. You can't hear that. But right over here, I have this LA Studio Comp. Now this is like an LA 2A, and this is a, this this would be a type of compressor you would hear, uh, you would see in a studio, and and there would be a lot of um, uh, a lot of instruments could be run through this. Could be drums, could be vocals, could be horns, could be whatever. But um, definitely, it can be guitar. And um, here's my settings right here. I have the mix at 50. Again, I, I don't want to lose all the feel, but um, I've, got, I've got a healthy amount of peak reduction going on, which I think really helps feel like the amp is turned up loud and give a nice juicy uh, kind of flavor. I also have it set as a compressor, not just on the limit setting. Limiting will only bring down the top of the net dynamic range. We also want to boost up of the low part of the dynamic range. And when I turn that on, it's going to sound like this. Now I would uh, I would take this and I would try it out on your presets. It's it's um it's pretty addicting to play without it. With it. love is the feel really seems to change a lot and I get a lot more dynamic sort of expression out of the guitar. Uh, let me try to demonstrate that by playing real light with some fingers on the neck and then jumping down to the bridge. I'm on this overdrive setting but I'm going to go to the rock setting of my of the uh, Mars Astra here so you can see the amp is uh, fairly hot six and a half right so um, at, you know it, it is what it is but listen to this with this compressor on how I can sort of manipulate and get a lot of light touches to make the guitar very uh, clean. Check it out.
super, super sort of um, squishy, addicting, lovely. I just, I really dig that. So check this out. Um, it's also, this is the same uh, compressor or close to the same compressor um, that's in the uh, the free twin. And I have a free uh, Voltage Queen that's modeled after a GA20 uh, coming hopefully this week. I just have to shoot some, some demos of it. It's done and it's on my to-do list. But this is lovely. It's beautiful. Uh, this, is, this is the number one thing I recommend if you want to fix or augment whatever uh, the, the feel of the helix. Some people get really mad when I say fix the feel of the helix. Uh, fix the heel of the felix. Uh, uh, fix the feel of the helix. Uh, because they go like, whatever, bro, you just hate the helix and you just want, you know, everybody to just love your Kemper and everything. And hey, hey, bro, I don't know. I'm making demos and videos about the helix. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of an endorsement, isn't it? So chillax. Chillax. We're just talking about compressors. <laughs> I mean, it's lovely. Here's the Overgerman sound, and I will play you out. My name is Ben HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone Jugga TV. Check out this LA Studio comp. I think it is really magical. I also do like a comp in the beginning, but I think this one is really where the magic is happening. See you later. Mm -hmm.